welcome to tech blog and in this tutorial we are going to explain step by step how to install Fortinet docker management tool on Ubuntu 20.04 LTS let's go and log into in our system and open up a web browser here and search for Fortinet Open up the link here and as you see the Portner is a universal container management tool it's worked with Kubernetes, Docker, Docker Snowram and Azure CI. It allows you to manage container without need to know platform specific code. So everything is operated by graphical user interface through web UI. So if you are looking for an open source and simple use docker management, Fortinet is the great place to start. And Fortinet Community Edition is completely free. This is the Community Edition you can install and Fortinet has also commercial version. So we are gonna install Community Edition that is completely free and it support Windows, Linux and macOS also so I'm going to minimize this for now and open up a terminal here and I had already set up a server for this in my a local data center and I'm going to show you Uh, this is my local data center uh, in my Proxmox environment. If you are looking for Proxmox data center environment, you can uh, go through my uh, video how to set up Proxmox data center in your local environment. And uh, this is my server that we are going to use. And the basic uh, configuration is my server is 1.20.04 LTS version having uh, 10. 0.50.58 that is my local IP address and we are gonna log into it through my terminal so SSH username ten dot zero dot fifty dot fifty eight so it's asking for first time the fingerprint go and type yes and it will ask for password and I'm gonna give it to it and here we go this is my Ubuntu 20.04 LTS version and I'm logging in a sudo user and from now the steps is begin for Fortinet and as you know first thing is first to update your package list so I'm gonna update my package list sudo apt update as I am logging in a normal user normal sudo user so you have to execute every command with sudo so hit enter key put your password and go on so my package update list is completed and now I'm going to install some uh, necessary package that that will require for your installation that is apt transport https ca certificate c url and software properties common etc etc so hit enter key
next you have to import the docker official gpg key to use the valid docker package for docker repository go ahead and paste the following command following by curl that will import the docker gpg license key so so go ahead and hit enter key to go on it's okay and here official gpg key is installed and we have to add the stable repository to ubuntu now we have to add a stable repository docker stable repository to my ubuntu use the following command sudo add repository and add the following docker stable release so go ahead and hit enter key it will add your repository it will also update your package list so go ahead and clear the screen and now we are going to install a docker and a docker ccli and container io so in order to do that we have to execute the following command this will install docker c docker c cli and container io so go ahead and hit enter key type yes and go ahead it will install docker into your system So at this point, Docker container installed into your system. I'm going to clear my screen. You could add the specific user for the Docker management. So if you like to do that, you have to add user for Docker. Otherwise, a root user and a sudo user can perform this uh, operation. I'm going to use user for my docker to docker group for that you could uh, run the following command sudo use your sudo user mod flag a g docker and my system user variable that will add your user to the docker group so now it's time to reboot the system so for now i'm going to reboot the system from terminal so go ahead and type sudo reboot as you see here i lost the connection from remote host and i have to wait some time for up my server I'm going to try again to log in onto our system. So go ahead and type SSH. Take blog at the rate. Yes, again I have logged into in. First, clear the screen. Now you could verify your Docker uh, by running a simple image like hello world image. So for that, run Docker. So use sudo Docker run hello world. So as of now, hello world image is not available in my system. So it will pull first and after that it will run for you. So go ahead and click enter key. As 
as I said, it's unable to find image and it's trying to pull, it's pulled and it's extracting and download completed. And it says hello world. This message shows that your installation appears to be work correctly. That is my Docker run successfully. And now we have to install a Docker Composer. So in order to do that, clear the screens first. And you need to download Docker Composer from GitHub using CWRL command. So go ahead and execute the following command the docker composer already downloaded from a github and after downloading it you have to apply the execute permission for the binary files inside docker composer so in order to do that first clear the screen and going to sudo change mod apply execute permission to user local bin and then docker compose And also you have to create a symbolic link for docker compose so in order to do that sudo ln flag s local bin Docker Composer to user win Docker Composer. So execute the following command. Oh, oh I had mistake. I had mistake in pseudo spelling, so I have to correct it. Do T O. Here you go. And now you can check the docker version by using following command docker compose does this version as you can see here my docker compose version is 1.26.0 so go ahead and clear the screen Now it's time to set up the portainer. So before downloading portainer container, you need to create a volume for portainer data. So in order to do that, we are gonna create a volume. So use Docker volume. create portainer data and here you can see the portainer data volume has been created now you need to run the portainer container before that you need to pull so you have to ex execute the following command the docker run actually docker container run on port port, port 8000 and you will be accessed through host by using 9000 port so go ahead and hit enter key the port in container not available in locally so it will 
download from docker hub and you could execute the docker ps command to see docker container actually off or not yes the docker container is up now you will be access the container by the ip of the host and port of 9000 so i am going to access this port net through web browser so i'm gonna open up the web browser now open up a tab aside my and my ip address is 10.0.50.58 followed by 9000 yes it's worked successfully and first page you have to set up your administrator password so i'm going to give it a username admin and i'm going to set a password and create the user And in this endpoint screen, actually allow you to add a remote Docker environment also. So in one Fortner container, you could uh, manage multiple remote Docker container also. So as of now, I don't have any remote uh, Docker environment. So I'm going to local environment. In later on, you could also add a uh, uh, remote uh, environment so there is a uh, provision for that so I'm going to uh, click on local and click on connect button here is the dashboard for my container admin panel this is my local container and if you add a remote container then it will be appears here so if I click on this I am digging to it and I have actually one volume, three containers, two images and three networks. If you click on the volume, so you can see the volume as I uh, created earlier for the portner container for the data and I am going to go back. This is my container. This is my portner container that already running and there is another container another two container actually uh, which i used earlier for the hello world purpose to check my docker is running or not this is my portner you can you can see the portner status and statistics by clicking here you can see the stats here how much CPU is consuming, how much memory is consuming, and a network usage. So everything you have to see over here through well-documented web UI. And it's uh, dynamically show you the status of CPU, memory, and logs. I'm going to go back. So here is your control panel. This is my dashboard. This is app template. App template means this is ready to use template for different purpose like Nginx, MySQL, Postage SQL, and so on. So I'm going to add a image that run WordPress. So if I click here, it will ask for a name. So I'm going to give it a uh, word space for now. Moreover, I can see my WordPress. I have to set a database root password. Actually, this will use for my database connection. So I'm going to use just arbitrary password. Take block to twenty twenty one and deploy the stack actually in this section you could control your docker access actually this means uh, only administrator can access the docker and management resource 
and in, in, in restriction section you could set some users with permission they can perform the docker task like restart the containers and others uh, necessary tasks. In stack section you could see my WordPress stack has been created and stack means collection of container means my WordPress require two container as you see here one for, uh, one for my uh, mysql db and one for my wordpress this collection of container create a stack named wordpress if i want to access over the internet so if i want to access this container over my network so i have to put my ip address I think there is mismatch in port so basically I need to edit this container and from host 80 to container 80 deploy the container replace Now refresh the browser. No, it's not HTTPS. Yeah, my WordPress container is running. So you can install your WordPress from here. Also, you could install another stack as per your need so there is a uh, lots of template container available in this section you could use here so in after this after the stack the container section the all container will be appeared so you can manage the container through here actually you can start stop kill restart pause resume all the container uh, which you want to uh, perform actually after that after that there is image section so in image you can see the image list that I used in container that is mysql hello world portioner wordpress etc etc so a docker image is a read only template that contains a set of instruction for creating a container that can run on docker platform so it has necessary information and configuration to run on docker so you can pull the image by using image name here so for uh, for example you could uh, search through docker hub going to explore section and 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 there is lots of image for a docker available you could uh, you could just uh, copy the image actually click on it and and this is the command docker pull node so i need only this section for container so registry i i using docker hub uh, it will search for search in docker hub and what uh, it will search i am going to put it node so it will search node so pull the image it will uh, going to download the image yes the image is successfully pulled and this is my uh, latest image uh, downloaded here and you can see the tag here it is unused till now so actually I didn't use till now for the container so you can uh, copy this tag actually for deploy the container 
So I'm going to container section and I'm going to add container and I'm going to specify my tag name that is node latest another thing is same if you want to restrict someone uh, some user or you could uh, only access through administrator so click on deploy the container it will be deployed yeah it's running my node server is running so you need to configure your port actually i didn't configure my port here so you have to configure your container through this section just editing your container there is lots of thing and now uh, from image section you can see the tag has been removed i had already used this node so after image you will find the network actually in this section you can create a uh, different layers of network like uh, bridge network host network and host only network so whatever you required as per your need you can create your network actually so in volume section you can create a volume for your uh, stack or you, or you can create volume for your container actually so after that so after that uh, there is event section in event section you could find the logs of uh, different events uh, which you have upper front and and finally in the host section you could uh, get description of your uh, host computer or host server uh, that containing the whole uh, docker environment and in setting section you can put your license which uh, purchased from a uh, partner business edition or enterprise edition so you have to perform lots of tasks if you uh, buy uh, enterprise edition or if you have uh, lots of lots of server to manage and in user section you can add or remove user as i have only one user that is admin you can add more than one user as per your team required uh, you can mention roles uh, in the users which you have made a team for teamwork in endpoint as i told earlier you can add endpoint uh, remote uh, remote docker management or azure or anything that uh, placed in remote you can manage cluster of your uh, docker so you need to uh, input your url and ip address to access form here and finally and in registry section you can add your own registry that means uh, you have your own repository in on docker hub so you could uh, add your uh, registry here and finally in setting section there is some uh, app setup that is snapshot intervals that means uh, it will refresh after five minutes you can use custom logo for your company or your organization and you can use external template you can manage your security from here permission that you have planable or disabled uh, for your team or for your member and in this hidden container section you can hide a specific container by using the tag name so in this video we have learned how to install portainer on ubuntu 20.04 lts and its ui component and overall uh, overview of portainer so hope this video helpful for you please do like and share this video leave comment if you have any question also click on subscribe button to encourage us and get latest update thank you